Snap-on Tools Great Garages. We're here in beautiful West Palm Beach to check out the garage of AMF Offshore Racing. Here we are in the trophy room of AMF Offshore Racing Team, and I'm here with Gary Stray. Gary, how are we doing? How you doing? What is your role here at AMF? Uh, one of the owners, there's five of us that own the team, and I also act as crew chief on the boat. We are a professional offshore racing team. We own three boats. Our number one boat is a 50-foot cat, capable of running over 200 miles an hour. Oh, man. What exactly are we looking at here and what are some of the specs? It's a twin overhead cam V8. These don't have the exhaust and turbochargers on them right now. They're in the assembly process, but they end up with two turbochargers making close to 2,000 horsepower each. And you've got to remember there's two of them in the boat, so. <laughs> some of your favorite tools or even some tools that just make your job a lot easier here. I put most of the top end of this engine together yesterday using these few tools. We use very specific bolts on our engines. That makes it very difficult sometimes to get into tight places. A simple thing but the universal jointed quarter drive to get inside where the intakes bolt on and everything like that without this that would be a, a two hour job. Right. Yesterday I put four on in about 10 minutes. Boom. That's super important. I use the two guns here, the 3.8 impact gun and the quarter. This I absolutely love because it doesn't put massive amounts of torque on a bolt. We use the snap-on torque wrench to go in after that. And I love that the light bar on the top gives you a red if you've over tightened. Mm -hmm. That is a, is a godsend right there. And it takes the, the build time down incredibly. So the engines together, this is the dyno room. This is where you actually fire it up and see what kind of numbers you're gonna put down. Yeah, absolutely. This is where it comes in and gets put through its paces. We'll have this thing on the dyno. We'll measure about 250 channels on the engine whilst we're running. And obviously the big thing, everybody wants to see the power number right. and the torque number. But we do a lot more than that in here. Snap-on tools are used to put it together, but you have basically built this thing to be in and out of the boat. Yeah, it's about 12 minutes to get an engine on the ground. What we try and do is build the engines modular. So the oil systems, the fuel systems, the exhaust system, everything is part of each engine. There's four studs and quick release fittings. Makes it a little easier for the guys. And obviously if we're in a squeeze, it's a big deal to get that. So getting in tight spaces with the tools we use, it's imperative. 32,000 square feet, a lot of boats, a lot of toys. Before we get to the number one, what's this boat? Well, this is a cigarette. It's a VIP boat, so any of our sponsors that come into town, they get to uh, take a ride out on this. It runs about 90 miles an hour, and they think they're going quick until we do a flyby in a race boat at 170. You look and like you're standing still. Yeah, they get a kick out of it. So what are we looking at here exactly? Because this isn't the number one boat just yet. This is one of our spare boats. You never know what's gonna happen on a race season. So we always have spare boats. We have two spares. And this one, when it's not being raced, it goes around and does boat shows for Geico. Well, you see how big this boat is. It's on its side. Why is it on its side? They're catamarans, so they're very, very wide and they're oversized. To get them to go down the road where we don't need permits or police escorts, the trailer has a hydraulic mechanism on it that tilts the thing up on its side. So then we're in legal limit, so we can go on down the road. Your AMF racing, you got customers that you tend to as well. What's going on with this boat? This boat we just completed. It's actually heading down to Trinidad. Very successful boat racing in Europe. We brought it over here to the US and completely stripped it. It started life with two seats. They wanted three, so we did that modification for them. Boat runs great, so it's on its way to Trinidad. So if you want a fast boat, call AMF. They'll help you out. It's all banner back there. It says Area 51. This is Area 51, and why is it called that? Uh, it's Area 51 because you, uh, it's restricted. It's not very often that people get to come back here and see what's going on. So this is our final assembly room. This is where all the last bits and pieces get put into the boat. You want to introduce me to one of your guys? Yeah, I got a bunch of crew guys here, and I'll introduce you to Craig. Craig, you are a technician here at AMF Racing. Do you have a specific role or are you kind of working the whole thing? We help each other out a lot, but at the race site, I have the left engine. You're utilizing snap-on tools. Snap-on tools give us the opportunity to be perfect in our job. Be perfect. It's a big statement right there. You've got to be perfect with the speeds we're running and the liabilities we have to make sure that Mark and Scott are safe is crucial. 
All right, I'm here with Patrick, another technician here at Miss Geico team. What's your operation during race? So I take care of the whole entire transom. So from drive oils to checking the steering lines, make sure nobody messes with anything, to torque in the rudder, making sure everything's tight before it goes out on race day. Well, I see you're using the half inch heavy impact gun to tighten up the prop. Yeah, our props are very expensive. They cost about 17 grand a piece. So we want to make sure that they are on there and on there properly. All right, Gary, we're at the business end of the boat. We have a prop on. How much of the boat is actually sitting in the water when you're at full speed? All we want is half a propeller in the water and about six inches of this rudder. No so way. really, we're more on air than we are on water. How much does it weigh here on land? On land here is 12, 12 and a half thousand pounds. When we're running at those speeds, we're six to 900 pounds. Six to 900 pounds. So that just shows you in racing, you want downforce. In boat racing, you kind of want up force. Absolutely the opposite, yeah. That's incredible. We're actually standing on top of Miss Geico, the number one boat. It's full carbon fiber. It's 50 feet long overall, about 12 and a half feet wide. This thing has to withstand an impact to, of up to 200 miles an hour. And the windows on these things are manufactured from the front, same people that build them for F-16 and F-15 aircraft. And then it has a full carbon fiber roll cage. The driver and throttle man are also on full-time air, so they have an oxygen mask where they're running. In case they get knocked out, they're still breathing air instead of salt water. Unlike a car, our boat doesn't have suspension. So what we did to make the guys more comfortable is that their seats are on suspension. All the controls actually move up and down so that he's not making changes while he's bouncing up and down in the water. Let's step on inside. This is where they say the magic happens or the guys are working the wheel and working the throttle. On the side of the seat is what we call the joystick. He'll be changing trim controls. The propellers actually go up and down in the water. So all that is done off of the joystick. And on the right hand side of his seat is his throttles. Basically he's got the two engines and then moving over to Mark over here. Mark steers the course obviously, takes care of communication communications, fire systems, and any other switch in the boat that isn't essential to the boat running fast. Down in the bottom there, you see the big orange circle. That's something that we prefer not to use, yeah. but sometimes it's essential. That's what we call the bottom escape hatch. 90% of the times when these boats have an accident, they'll end up the wrong way up. So that is your primary escape route. Hopefully the guys come out without even getting wet. Tight fit. Oh man, this is pretty sweet. Quite comfortable though, don't you think? Thank you so much for showing us such an impressive facility and contributing to being one of Snap-on Tools' great garages. Good luck this season and looking for uh, some big trophies and some big things from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of Snap-on Tools' Great Garages. For more Snap-on Tools videos, click here. And for all things Snap-on, be sure to subscribe.